Did you know, in traditional Tibetan culture, it's not uncommon for one woman to be married to all the brothers in a family, a practice known as fraternal polyandry? Intriguing, isn't it? This is just one of the many unique aspects of Tibetan culture that we're going to explore today. So, let's dive into the world of fraternal polyandry in Tibet. This practice, deeply rooted in Tibetan history, has been a significant part of the societal structures for centuries. It primarily evolved out of necessity due to the harsh geography and scarcity of resources in the region. The land could only sustain a limited number of families, and dividing it among several sons could lead to fragmentation and dilution of resources. So, to keep the family unit intact and the land undivided, all brothers would marry the same woman. Fraternal polyandry also reflects the Tibetan norms of equality and mutual support. The brothers, despite sharing a wife, are expected to live in harmony, working together for the common good of the family. It's not merely a marital arrangement, but a social structure that fosters cooperation and unity. But it's not all about practicality. There's a spiritual aspect too. Tibetan Buddhists believe in reincarnation and the continuity of the soul. Fraternal polyandry is seen as a way to keep the family's karma intact across generations, as the brothers and their wife are considered a single entity. Like any other cultural practice, fraternal polyandry has its complexities and challenges. It requires a high level of understanding, respect and tolerance among the family members. The practice, however, is not as prevalent today as it once was. Modernization and changing societal values have led to a decline in this tradition, but it still exists in some remote areas of Tibet serving as a reminder of the region's rich and diverse cultural heritage. So as you can see, Tibetan culture is filled with unique and intriguing customs, like fraternal polyandry, that set it apart from the rest of the world. My fascination with Tibetan culture grew from a chance encounter during a trekking expedition. It was during this journey that I found myself immersed in a world so intriguing, so different from my own. The journey to the rooftop of the world, as Tibet is often called, was a life-transforming experience. The rugged terrain, the vast expanses of the Tibetan plateau, the majestic Himalayas, they all seemed to echo the resilience and spirit of the Tibetan people. But it was the interactions with the locals that truly left an indelible imprint on my mind. The Tibetan people are known for their warmth and hospitality, their smiles, their willingness to share stories of their lives, their humble abodes, and even their food, made me feel welcome and at home. But what intrigued me the most was the unique customs and traditions that they held dear. One such tradition that caught my attention was the practice of fraternal polyandry. For the uninitiated, fraternal polyandry is a form of polygamy where a woman is married to two or more brothers. This practice, though not unique to Tibet, is most commonly found there. I remember meeting a family in a remote village the woman of the house was married to two brothers. They lived harmoniously under one roof, sharing responsibilities and raising their children together. This was a concept so alien to me, yet so fascinating. The woman, with her gentle demeanor and strong spirit, managed the household while the brothers worked in the fields. It was not just the practice of fraternal polyandry that intrigued me, but the acceptance and normalcy with which it was viewed it was a part of their culture, their way of life. It was a testament to the adaptability of the human spirit to different societal norms and structures. These experiences opened my eyes to the fascinating world of Tibetan culture and its distinct practices. It was a journey of discovery, of learning and of understanding a culture so rich and varied. It was a reminder that the world is indeed a tapestry of diverse cultures, each with its own unique threads. Fraternal polyandry, despite being quite uncommon globally, has been a long-standing tradition in Tibetan society. Let's take a closer look at this fascinating custom, shall we? Fraternal polyandry is a marital arrangement where a woman is traditionally married to two or more brothers, a practice that might raise eyebrows in many societies, yet it has been a cornerstone of Tibetan culture for centuries. So why is this the case? Well, it primarily boils down to practicality and resource management. 
Tibet's harsh geographical landscape and limited arable land make it necessary to keep property within the family without dividing it among several sons. By marrying all sons in a family to one woman, the land stays intact, ensuring the family's survival and prosperity. But what about the dynamics within such a family? As you might imagine, it's a delicate balancing act. The eldest brother is usually the dominant figure, making most of the major decisions, while the younger brothers contribute to the family's welfare by working the land or engaging in trade. The wife holds a significant role too. She's often the glue that binds the family together, managing the household and ensuring harmony among her husbands. Now, you might be wondering, what about love and romantic feelings? In fact, Tibetan society places a high value on family unity and economic stability rather than romantic love. However, that doesn't mean there's no room for affection or companionship. Quite the contrary, many polyandrous families share strong bonds and deep mutual respect. It's also worth noting that fraternal polyandry is not enforced. It's a choice, and like all choices, it comes with its own set of challenges and rewards. Some Tibetans choose monogamy or even celibacy, reflecting the diversity and fluidity of this intriguing society. In recent years, however, the practice has been in decline due to modern influences and changing societal norms. But that's a topic for another time. It's a practice that may seem unusual to us, but in the context of Tibetan culture, it makes perfect sense. So next time you're contemplating the myriad ways humans navigate relationships and love, remember to consider fraternal polyandry in your reflections. In recent years, there has been a shift in the dynamics of Tibetan society, particularly for women. As the winds of modernity blow across the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas, they carry with them the seeds of change. In the heart of this breathtaking landscape nestled among the mountains, the Tibetan woman is experiencing a transformation. For centuries, the traditional practice of fraternal polyandry, where one woman marries multiple brothers, has been a cornerstone of Tibetan society. This practice, born out of necessity in a harsh and unforgiving environment, ensured that land and resources were not divided and diluted among offspring. However, the wheels of time and tide of development have not left Tibetan society untouched. The advent of modern education and economic opportunities have begun to reshape the societal norms and expectations of Tibetan women. No longer are they simply wives and mothers, bound by tradition and societal expectations. Today, they are teachers, entrepreneurs, artists and leaders, breaking barriers and challenging the status quo. With the influence of modern education, more and more Tibetan women are becoming aware of their rights and potential. The world beyond the mountains is no longer a distant dream, but a tangible reality. Education has not only opened doors to new opportunities, but has also brought about a shift in their perspectives and aspirations. Moreover, the impact of economic development cannot be underestimated. As Tibet opens up to the world, the traditional agrarian lifestyle is giving way to more diverse economic activities. Women are increasingly participating in these new opportunities, stepping out of their traditional roles and contributing to the economy. However, this transition is not without its challenges. As Tibetan women navigate the path between tradition and modernity, they grapple with questions of identity, duty and choice. But amidst these challenges, they are carving out their own spaces, redefining their roles and reshaping the future of Tibetan society. Modern times bring change, and even in traditional societies like Tibet, women are beginning to carve out their own spaces. As the world evolves, so do cultures and their practices. This statement rings particularly true for the unique tradition of fraternal polyandry in Tibet. As we step into the future, the question arises, Will this practice continue in the face of modernization and the changing aspirations of Tibetan women? Fraternal polyandry, with its roots deep in the necessities of the old Tibetan agrarian society, was a practical solution to prevent land fragmentation and maintain family wealth. But with the shift from agrarian to a more urban lifestyle, these reasons are no longer as compelling and we see a decline in this practice. 
The influence of modernization is undeniable. With globalization bringing different cultures closer, new ideas and perceptions about relationships and family dynamics are taking root. Individual autonomy, personal fulfillment and romantic love are gaining precedence over traditional norms, even in societies as deeply rooted in tradition as Tibet. But what about the women, the center of these polyandrous marriages? As education and employment opportunities increase for Tibetan women, they are breaking away from old molds and redefining their roles. The modern Tibetan woman is independent, educated, and aspires for more than just being part of a traditional marriage structure. This shift in aspirations could further influence the decline of fraternal polyandry. However, it's crucial to remember that culture is not a static entity. It is a living, breathing phenomenon that evolves with time and circumstances. So, while the practice of fraternal polyandry might be waning, it doesn't necessarily mean it will disappear completely. It might adapt and take on new forms in response to the changing socio-cultural landscape. Ultimately, the future of fraternal polyandry in Tibet is uncertain. It hinges on various factors, including the pace of modernization, the aspirations of the new generation, and the resilience of the Tibetan people in preserving their unique cultural practices. Only time will tell how these unique cultural practices evolve in the face of a rapidly changing world. Tibetan culture, with its unique practices, offers a different perspective on societal norms. As we navigate through the world, we often encounter cultures that are vastly different from our own. Such encounters can be enlightening, challenging our preconceived notions and offering fresh perspectives on life. Tibetan culture, with its unique practices like fraternal polyandry, is one such culture that offers a window into an entirely different societal structure. From our exploration, we've learned that Tibetan culture is a rich tapestry interwoven with a deep respect for nature, spirituality, and community. The practice of fraternal polyandry, where a woman may be married to two or more brothers, is not just a curious societal norm. It is a practical solution to the harsh realities of life on the Tibetan plateau, ensuring the survival of families and the preservation of limited resources. In a world where we often rush to judgment, Tibetan culture teaches us the importance of understanding and respect. It is easy to dismiss or ridicule customs that seem foreign or strange to us, but when we make an effort to understand, we realize that these practices have evolved over centuries in response to specific cultural and environmental challenges. They are not arbitrary, but deeply rooted in the history and reality of the people who practice them. The modern Tibetan woman too offers a different narrative than what we might expect. She is strong, resilient, and deeply woven into the fabric of her society. Her role in the family and the community is vital, and her strength and resilience are testament to the enduring spirit of Tibetan culture. In the end, every culture, with its unique practices and norms, holds a mirror to the vast diversity of human experience. Tibetan culture, with its unique traditions and practices, is a reminder that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to life. Each culture, in its own distinctive way, navigates the complexities of human existence, offering valuable lessons and insights along the way. So, let us strive to understand, appreciate and respect the diverse cultures that make up our world. In the end, every culture, with its unique practices and norms, holds a mirror to the vast diversity of human experience. Our journey through the intriguing world of Tibetan culture and its unique practices has been quite a revelation. We've traversed the fascinating landscape of fraternal polyandry, a practice where one woman marries multiple brothers and discovered its deep-rooted significance in Tibetan society. We've also glimpsed at the life of the modern Tibetan woman balancing tradition with the demands of the contemporary world. The future of fraternal polyandry, though uncertain, remains a key part of the cultural discussion, reflecting the dynamic nature of cultural practices and their adaptability over time. In our reflections, we've seen that the Tibetan culture, like any other, is a complex tapestry woven from threads of tradition, societal norms, and individual experiences. 
It's these unique practices and traditions that define the richness of human life. As we delve deeper into different cultures, we realize that every corner of the world holds unique practices that define the richness of human life. Until next time, keep exploring.